Winter solstice, the ultimate yin. It's about completion in your life. In this video, I'm gonna get into that and four other really key components to the season. Sit tight. So there's a lot of symbolism with winter solstice that you can apply to your life and help you align to this season, this time of year. Um, you know, if we're thinking in terms of yin yang, right? Opposing forces at bay, but they're complementary. They're both relative. They both are interdependent. They rely on one another. Winter solstice is the ultimate yin. And I'm going to talk about that today, how this time of year and the solstice is so powerful and can be so transformative in your own life. So as I mentioned, it's about completion. So that's number one that I really want to stress. Um, you know, it's no wonder that we see end of the year, New Year's, right? New year, new you. End of the year, what do people do? They, they get rid of old toxic habits or they're wrapping up things in their world to start fresh. And this is basically what winter solstice is about, completion. Now, you know, you could relate this with something like the five elements. If you're not familiar with the five elements, I do a lot of videos on them, um, but it goes into ancient Taoism. And basically, basically, it's an extension of the yin yang theory, okay? How in our life, we go through five phases in life. So we're looking at yin, which corresponds to the water element. And we have yin and yang, which is fire. So fire is upward movement and then yin water is downward movement. And that's what this winter solstice is about, this kind of hibernation going within. So on a five phase level, it represents pre-birth and also death. So that's why it's so symbolic because it's kind of the, the start of everything. Right? We go from pre-birth to birth to our most vitality in summer, the most young, very fiery kind of energy back into ourselves. So completion. So you could relate this to birth death cycle. You could relate this to New Year's resolutions where you're wrapping, tying things up um, and then starting fresh, you know, where you sprout back out. Um, it's so important, so symbolic. And I think it's one of the most important seasons really um, because it is about this just all these these completion cycles whatever that looks like for you right on a physical level emotional level spiritual level getting rid of, of old things really finding the wisdom within ourselves if you also think of this time of year people put up where they put up christmas wreaths right round wreaths so if you think about that it's very symbolic it's almost like the five phases we go through in life, this circular pattern of it not being um, life, not being linear for us, but working in a circular fashion where we go around the circle of our life, learn things along the way, and then we come back into ourselves, hopefully wiser than when we came out. So number two is reflection. The winter solstice is about reflection, going within. So when I say the ultimate yin, Yin represents darkness, feminine energy, um, soft energy, uh, downward, inward motion, um, as opposed to yang, which is very upward, outward, extending motion, uh, very energetic, very aggressive. Yin is about reflecting back into ourselves. Okay, so not only completion, but coming into this place where we're really. Um, a place of self-understanding, okay? Getting rid of a lot of the noise out in the world um, and coming back into ourselves. Which leads me to number three, conservation, hibernation. We conserve our energy in winter solstice. It's always ironic to me around this time of year, around the holidays, everybody's, you know, going to parties, out drinking, um, you know, traveling, which is more of a very young, fiery energy. And it's why we get exhausted because everything around us in nature is so yin and we're doing all these yang activities. So if you think about it, it's kind of, it's this ironic thing this time of year. It's fun, of course, the holidays, but it's also why we get very tired and depleted from running around because we don't have um, any, the yang energy to back us up because it's the ultimate yin this time of year. So it is about conservation, um, knowing when to, 
you know, limit activities uh, so you don't get completely wiped out. But um, yeah, conserving, limiting, uh, just hibernating, resting, sleeping, taking care of ourselves, you know, eating warm foods and soups and broths and, and all kinds of stuff to really help align to winter solstice. Number four, symbolic trait, potential, potential. So if you think of yin, ultimate yin, water, um, you think of pre-birth, okay? It's dark in the womb, right? Even death, you could think of dark before the light, right? Everything psh, uh, shuts down essentially in the body, body-wise. Um, but think of yin, think of like a seed. So you're like the, if you're thinking of potential, it's like the seed being nourished underground before it sprouts out in spring, okay? In winter, we hibernate, we go within, we reflect, we get rid of old toxic things in our lives because we're going to start anew in January 1st or whatever. Even though January 1st is, um, it's still winter season, so it would be better to start anew in wood season, which is more springtime, because we have the onset of more yang energy coming into our lives. Um, but everybody likes January 1st because it's a new year, and it sounds really cool to say new year, new you, right? Fine. Um, but think about it, okay? Potential. It is um, that thing that we just have ingrained in us uh, that uh, is just waiting to come out, but we have to nourish it, we have to water it, and that's why aligning to this season by eating good foods, warm foods, staying away from a lot of like raw, cold stuff, not over-exercising or not traveling or going out and doing too much to conserve our body's energy is going to help nourish and water that seed. And the last thing about winter solstice is gaining wisdom, wisdom. Basically, when we're thinking of the phases in our lives and this completion cycle, it's about going out more wise than when we came in. So we're going around the circle of life, learning lessons, having experiences along the way, and from that, we find wisdom. And a lot of times it takes many years, uh, you know, but that's why they say older people have a lot of wisdom. They've had a lot of experiences and lessons, things they've been through that gave them that wisdom. So think about your life and what you're in the process of completing right now. If you think about it, we go through constant uh, beginning and ending cycles throughout our life so many times too many times to even count. Um, so that's why it's such a powerful season because uh, it's a beautiful thing to obviously, you know, start anew in some capacity. And it could be any aspect of your life. It could be in, in your health, it could be career, it could be, you know, letting go of old toxic behaviors and things that um, you want to shed. It's like shedding skin, like how our body, right? We, we constantly forming new skin. So there's all these little, beginning ending cycles of uh, regeneration, not only on a physical level, but spiritual level, emotional level. And it just makes, you know, winter and the water element uh, such a powerful thing. So really the goal is to align yourself to the season as much as you can, because if you don't align yourself and you're, you know, overdoing it or uh, really pushing your limits or, you know, keep repeating behaviors that that no longer serve you you're going to either get sick you know on a physical level emotional level mental illness uh, things are going to be off so that's why it's really uh, key to be aware of you in your environment because we're all part of it right we're all part of the same thing we go through these constant cycles so anyway i hope you found this video helpful let me know in the comments below i put out new videos every single week for you on all kinds of cool topics uh, if you want any more insight on the five elements yin yang stuff i'll put some links to videos below you could check those out um, other than that hope you have a great day and peace